morning everybody welcome we cleared this whole pasture's fence line i don't know how big this pasture is a lot of acres and then we did a bunch on the creek over here but we did this creek cleared it so you could actually see it and they would like me to hog out a wide spot right here uh it's funny all the trees that i was trying to save i uh, gotta rip those things out so i'm gonna go ahead and mark remark the marks has rained since uh, i got the bucket for the 12 the 080 is way out the field there dad's doing some mulching with the 12 right now so i gotta take all the dirt and just kind of throw it out this way and he'll spread it with the 12 just so i got an idea of where to go i'll mark remark it so i can get my bearings yep there we go glad we can still kind of see these it's been several weeks since we talked about this just gonna hog out this i don't know it already looks like a detour around it finish marking this out and we'll get started beep beep good tractor sound in the morning of metal scraping on rocks that'll wake you up joking about bringing the Belco. We got a 42,000 pound excavator for doing this job. It'd be nice because I could just reach it all from shoreline. And it's got a four foot bucket. It'd make quick work out of this. But we couldn't even get it over here as we drove across the creek, I guess. But they got a, uh, a bridge. It's, yeah, the bridge would handle it. That's the thing here. We got this machine down here. Already got the bucket on it. About four feet below grade where I'm at. And that's about shoot, seven, eight feet down there. Hog this out where I want. Come down here and just start working it back, throwing it up as I go. Start to let the water come in.
I'm ready to let the creek in here. Left a little peninsula so I can crawl out there and get the remainder of my dam. Left the bottom down there so all the sediment, when it comes through here, going down through there, hopefully it'll collect it and I'll open that up last. Let's go ahead and open this sucker. It's already started to fill a little bit on its own. Yeah, this should work out. 12's just been hustling. That's the most dirt work that thing's done. first gear. David just showed up, didn't even recognize his truck with a whole load of Kubotas on it. I got myself a little load of tractors back there. We still need all the machines, but we didn't need all the attachments in the side by. Ah, he parked right in a park in way. I ran over a stick of firewood. <laughs> Dang, that's a sweet little setup right there. A couple little minis. Let's go ahead and tell this chucklehead to move because I got to get that Kubota on the other side so I can unload my mess. Check us out here. 
I got uh, two excavator buckets, big, big grading bucket, pallet forks, brush rake, and then the ETV. Let's go look at his thing. Hey, Warren, come on, Boone. You can go hang out with Warren. <laughs> hey, pull up there. Dude, I didn't recognize your truck when you first came around the corner. I was like, who the hell is badass? <laughs> I just saw all orange, and I was like, hmm, this guy's cool. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's a Dodge. What an idiot. What a dumbass. Well, look how, something like that. Look how official he is. He's got numbers. Oh, yeah. I'm somewhat official. You wait for my CA numbers now. Too bad you didn't have 19.5s on there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, because I'm here. That's why. My sticker's uh, backwards from yours. Mine's only 45. Program, I know. <laughs> oh, I tried to get a 40K trailer the day you picked yours up, and it's been four months. Oh, yeah. We're, still, we're still waiting. Hey, Where's the watch at? <laughs> it's broken. Just waiting on it, too. <laughs> uh, that is just cool. I don't care who you are. I think that's cool. Gooseneck, life, whatever. Some situations nowadays you just don't need a freaking semi. I mean, he's only what's that thing? We're like, he's got like eighteen thousand pounds worth of cargo. Ain't even that bad. That is awesome. I think that's as cool as hell. Oh, he's got little attachments in there too. Well, I just finished a little bit of mulching over there. So this will be the last trip around the pond until I come back and see it all the way full. Cut the water into it about three days ago, I'd say. Might have been four, I kind of lose the track. Days are blending together working on a project like this. But man, she's turning out sweet. So what you do with a completely unusable piece of property that was complete swampland with a natural spring right in the middle of it. Groom all the junk off the top and put a nice little pond right in the middle of it. Act as fire prevention, aid, watering hole for animals, and uh, just something way nicer than a swamp land. <laughs>